that is how my 99 GST has been running. I think it has something to do with the throttle position sensor, but uh, I replaced that in the mass airflow sensor, and after I replaced that, the turbo went out, and I found, took it off and went through the turbo and found out that the reason it went out was because the heat shield on the inside of the turbo had broke loose and it was catching the turbine and not allowing it to spin so I pulled that apart rebuilt it just because I'd rather rebuild it than just replace the heat shield uh, no play in it the turbo works now but it's idling really high something and I pulled the suspension arm off of here so that I could put it on my other clips which was ended up bent and uh, yeah I'm gonna try replacing the throttle position sensor see what that does but I the turbo the reason it went uh, it went bad right after I replaced the mass airflow sensor and um, the door handle that is cracked so I got one of those on the way and for now it's just gonna sit there and I need a new set of rims because I put the uh, the rims off of this car on my other Eclipse the GS and uh, exhaust manifold one day those bolts came loose and it came unbolted completely all at one time when I hit a bump in the driveway and it fell in the ever since then the turbo stopped working so that's why I rebuilt the turbo and now the turbo works so that is a good thing it was my first time ever rebuilding a turbo I didn't expect it to uh, turn out that well but uh when you would go to turn a turbine right there where the intake inlet is, it would grind and wouldn't move until you broke it free, and then it would spool and get boost. But that's why I rebuilt it because that's not going to build boost going down the road. So I rebuilt it so that I would build boost whenever the car was running. And I need a radiator cap, a thermostat, and I also need to, I think the ECU might be bad, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I've got to see if I can't figure out why the car's running weird, idling high, and all that other stuff. And then if it's still not fixed after I try a few things, I'm going to replace the ECU because I'm when I pull codes, it just, it'll pull about four codes. But then when I go to scroll through them, you can read the first one, and then you go to cycle to the next one, and it just backs out, and then it says there's no codes to be read. So I'm thinking the ECU might be bad. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do some testing before I say that because I don't want to replace it and it not be bad. I wanted to put a Dia Evo link in there, but I'm afraid to put it in there and it fry that one too. Especially for a $500 ECU. And um, that was one thing about my ECU. I put a ECU out of a 97 GST in here because I couldn't find one for 99 and when I put it in there the fire it wouldn't start because the firing order was wrong and I did some research and the firing order on a 97 is just a little bit different than a 99 and I did the 97 firing order it worked and then a week or two later it stopped starting and stopped running so I put it back to a 99 firing order which then it started running which I don't understand why it did that but 
it's running, so that's all that really matters to me. And now I just got to tweak it out and make sure it runs right. But when it gets done, it will be a full track car. It's going to be a circuit track car, not a drag track. And it will be pushing 500 horsepower before I take it to the track. I don't know how long that will be, but it will be pushing 500 before I take it to the track at all. It should be pushing 300 after I get everything sorted out when I put new fuel injectors and um, fuel pump in there. But the mass airflow sensor, that is um, went bad on me. And what it did was it started idling really... It didn't idle weird, but when you revved it up, when it hit about 3,000 RPMs, it would have like a stutter, and it would suck down some gas. I used about $50 worth of gas and 80 miles. It was burning a shit ton of gas. So what I decided to do was I know a friend who knows a lot of people that have um, parts cars. He, he got me a mass airflow sensor for like 30 bucks because... The mass airflow sensor is normally like 160, but like I said, I do need a radiator cap. I will get one of those soon. And that is my project. I will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.